Improper needle disposal has been an issue for the Cambridge community for over a year, according to some residents. After the issue was taken all the way to regional council, some residents say they're finally seeing change, but took too long to get there. CTV's Maliha Sheikh joins us live in downtown Cambridge. Maliha, you got a chance to catch up with one business owner who says he definitely sees a difference. Christina, we spoke to Nathan Sandai over a month ago when he was frustrated to find dozens of needles behind his father's business, but he says with all of the media attention, Cambridge is starting to look a lot cleaner. When I came here, there was just needles scattered kind of all over the place behind me. Business owner Nathan Sandai spoke to CTV over a month ago, disgusted by the sight of needles behind his dad's business, so close to a Cambridge school. Kids are even writing, like these are obviously children, clean up your syringes. Even children sharing their concern, but now things are changing. I feel that now if you call the city, they will answer. It's a coordinated effort with the city and volunteers from a clean Cambridge, tackling the needle cleanup one street at a time. I started the group and 5,600 members later Here we are. and cleanup crews, it's getting done. With needle cleanup efforts underway, residents of Cambridge are feeling safer, but Mary Jane Sherman with a clean Cambridge says it shouldn't have taken this long to see some action. It wasn't until people started doing things around the city that he stepped in to take action and that's the way the people are going to see it. He being Cambridge Mayor Doug Craig, but mother of two Sarah Sandai is simply happy anyone is taking action so she can visit her local baseball diamond with her family and not see needles. There's guys carrying garbage bags and um, biohazardous bins filled with needles and you know what made me feel good that I can now bring my dog and my family down here. And while it's no small task. We are definitely over a thousand and Today, that number is going to grow because we're doing a sweep of downtown. It's worth all the effort. Our kids have to grow up here. We want a safe Cambridge. Now, while residents are happy that something is being done about the needle cleanup, they say that this is simply a short-term solution and what they need is a long-term plan. Christina. All right, CTV's Maliha Sheikh reporting live in Cambridge tonight. Thanks, Maliha.